Um, so I'm going to do this video with my dog right here because uh, he won't get out of the way. But uh, hopefully he it's not too much of a distraction. Oh, here goes my other one. I just got back from the Tanex Growth Conference a few days ago um, over the Super Bowl weekend. This one right here. I bought tickets to this conference uh, the first day they came out, like months ago, and I was super excited. Even bought a voice recorder because I thought it would be so jam packed with content and I wouldn't be able to write fast enough. Um, I brought a bunch of business cards. I thought I'd be networking a ton. Uh, I got a microphone, this one hidden right here, you know, I thought I'd be vlogging about it um, every day that I was there. I used none of those things. And so while I'm glad I went this year, I really doubt I'd be going again next year. And uh, let me explain why. So the event is split into three days with three topics, um, first is sales. Second day was marketing. The third day was execution. So first, the content. They had about a dozen speakers, and it was a mix of presentations and interviews. And pretty much after each person talks, they go into their sales pitch um, and sell you a program. And this was consistent throughout the whole thing. Now, I have absolutely no problem with that, and I definitely believe in investing in your education if somebody has something of value to offer, I think it's their obligation to promote it. However, it was obvious there was little focus on delivering value. The first person was Russell Brunson, and he spoke for 90 minutes. The whole thing was a sales pitch with very little value at all. And to make things worse, the audio was so bad. You literally couldn't understand him. I probably understood 40% of what he was saying. Not every speaker was like that, though. Um, Jesse Itzler, Sarah Blakely, John Maxwell. Surprisingly, Ty Lopez gave way more value than just selling a product. But I would say 60% of the speakers I could have done without. Second thing I wanted to talk about was networking. Um, I was thinking, wow, there's over 30,000 people at this event. So many people to network with. But that was also part of the problem. And there were way too many people. Nothing was organized. I feel like if they designated sections for certain industries, like real estate in one section, e-commerce, retail, finance, it would have made it easier to talk to people you actually care to talk to. Overall value, was there anything good about it? Um, like I mentioned earlier, some of the speakers did give valuable, actionable tips and advice and um, concepts. Um, John Maxwell was great. Jesse Itzler, like I said, um, I would look them up. Would I recommend this conference? Honestly, I realized by the end of it, I could have learned as much or much more simply YouTubing content from these speakers over the weekend. So overall, am I glad I attended the conference? Yes, it was a good first experience, but that was mainly because of this one thing that happened on the second day that kind of changed the course of how I thought about entrepreneurship and and my goals. Um, I'm going to be making a video about that shortly without the dogs and we'll link it below. So if any of you out there have gone to conferences or events that you'd like to recommend, leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to check them out. I do want to say one thing though. In the end, you can absorb a bunch of content and a bunch of information, but it wouldn't really matter if you don't implement it right. My next video will probably be about the most important thing I learned from the conference and how I implemented it on the second day. I'm going to have that uploaded within the next few days, so make sure to subscribe.